Hello, hello! Welcome back! Uh, we have a fun and exciting video today. If you are a very big beginner on um, wanting to become a blogger, this is the video for you. And let's get into it. So the first thing is just making an email. If you already have an email, you can kind of skip to a little bit over a minute. Um, but this is just the Gmail that I'm making just for the video purpose. So you just fill out your information. I kind of screwed up a little bit uh, with the password. It's fine. We got it. Go to the next. Um, and then I'm just going to fill out some random stuff just so I can get through and then privacy and terms. You're going to agree. After that, we'll just let it load and then you have your brand new email. I would highly suggest doing a new email just so you can have more of like your blogger business one. Um, and after you do that, we are going to go all over to Flickr and again put in my random stuff that I did before I wish I was 20 make sure you click the I am not a robot and then you're just gonna click on your email that you just made or your old email and verify your account So after your email is verified, you're just going to log into it with your password. And there we go. We are in our Flickr account. Um, it's just going to kind of look very basic right now. There's a couple things. There's an upload button at the top right, a little notification bell. Um, and your account things that you can click on for your if you want to edit them and there's a couple tabs at the top left as well if you want to click the U button then you have all these extra tabs at the bottom as well so after you've made your account we're gonna go back over to Second Life we're just gonna take a super, super simple, uh, quick photo. I can always make a video in the future of how I edit my photos and everything, or maybe some simple tips and tricks. Um, but right now we're just gonna click Control Zero a few times just to zoom in. It'll keep the background really nice um, and it won't warp your face because usually it kind of does that if you just kind of zoom in really close. Um, this gives a better overall shot. And I just have a simple wind light. I'm just going to take a few photos with just the regular snapshot. You could go over to Black Dragon. Um, you can take higher quality photos over there. Now that we have our photos, we're going to click the upload button. and choose our lovely photo here. And this is where you can add your own title, um, what they're gonna see first before actually opening it up. And underneath will be a description. This is where you can put all of your company's information if you're a blogger for them, or just to start out. Um, usually you want to blog things before and get you know a good following going get creators to start to notice you but it should more be so about having fun and taking cool photos and editing them than anything but after we have this guy we can actually add another one if we wanted to or delete this one, but I'm going to click the add button so that we can add our second photo. I just did a very simple one. It's not perfect. It's okay. We're going to just let that load. And you can actually click both of the photos at the same time. And you can also preview them with the little magnifying at the bottom left, I believe, of the, of the photo. 
Uh, we can actually hit control and then left click on them. So you can see that both of them are highlighted in pink. And then I'm just gonna add the tags to both of the photos so that it's a little bit less work. Perfect, and now we're just gonna click the upload button after that looks good. You can always change the setting as well. So if you take a more uh, risky photo, you can actually make it more restricted. And there we go. So now we're gonna head over to the little search bar. We're actually gonna search up a blogger search um, group. So we're gonna click this one and you can click join so you can always stay up to date which ones are coming out. Make sure to always look at the dates and times when they are accepting them. So there's plenty of brands that are always blogger searching. And there's also ones for events in general, which are a little bit different than the company ones. So we're just gonna look over, you would just fill that out and then click submit. I'm gonna look over at this other creator uh, called When. They will also just have a landmark that you can just click and go over to. Uh, but we're just gonna copy the, the map's location and head on over to the store. We're at the store and I've actually never been to this uh, brand before, but they do have very pretty items. You can also look them up on their own Flickr and study them to see if you actually want to uh, blog for them. But since we do, we're just gonna click the little blogger sign and go over, go to page. So then it'll pop up a, a new page for their submission or application. We're just gonna scroll down. You would fill out all this information and submit and depending on what time they end, you can actually just, you would just have to wait. This is what it would look like if you got rejected or accepted. And once you get accepted, you would actually make a Blogo Tech account. And this is kind of what it would look like. I'm just gonna show you one of my brands. This is Ursh. It's a very, very good one. I really like all of their stuff. I can kind of go, very modern with them or I can go very fantasy and they always have their rules and everything else in their chat in the group and any other information that I would need to know or deadlines it would be there post regularly every single day or even if it's just twice a week will actually be very very helpful in growing your own followers uh, join bigger groups. That's very important so that you can tag groups and more people actually get to see your photos. Commenting and favoriting pictures. That's also a big one. People always like to give love um, and they will also give love back. Spending 15 minutes a day, even if possible, will be very important so that you can go back and comment and favorite pictures. And my other helpful tip with the groups is to actually click and favorite pictures, um, if anything. Take the time to tag creators, especially if you aren't even blogging for them, you should. You should always tag them if you can, or the brands, again, you want are working towards. Collabing with other people makes the photos even better, and then you can do cross platforms and also tag each other, which is perfect. And honestly, quality over quantity, take the time with your photos. It does make a big difference. But I think that'll be it for today. And I hope you guys learned something. Bye-bye now.